What is good, YouTube? My name is Blaze Shadowthorn. I'm bringing you again another Wi Fi battle because Wi Fi battles are fun. Oh, uh, this is a random battle I had against a dude from the internet. He challenged me, so I'm like, why? Well, okay, I'll just bring my team. And he actually, look, he actually looked to bring an actual team, so I was pretty, pretty pleased about that. So I decided to, decided to upload this video, and I'm actually gonna try some recording something different. So you know, I might actually try something this. Let's so see what it looks like, and I'll probably redo this. But anyway, I started nicknaming all my Pokemon. So I named my fur front after my beloved dog, my uh, my Max. So uh, I called him Mr. Max. So I go straight for the headbutt against the Tyrantrum. Just gauge, see how much it does. Does nothing, and he's just gonna take the opportunity to set up his Stealth Rocks. I actually was playing this when I was playing this match. I was in the middle of also recording Showdown Live, so I probably didn't play the best I could, but it was still a fun match nonetheless, so I go for the U-turn. Just to get a little bit more damage off going to my Scizor, because I know Scizor can tank at least one hit, anything he wants to go for, and he actually decides to go for Crunch, and I was like, okay, and still no longer resist Dark, which sucks, so that actually did quite a bit of damage, plus with Strong Jaws, all that fun stuff. But anyway, I can go straight for a Bullet Punch and just Oko that thing, because yeah, like, or it's a massive threat, and especially when it holds the iron plate. So now he's gonna go out and do his David Bowie, his um, his Ferrothorn, and I'm like, what can Ferrothorn do to me? I decide nothing, so I can set up a sword stance, see what he wants to do. Then he drops th Thunderbolt, and I'm like, Thunderbolt on a Ferrothorn? What? But that T bolt did nothing, so I can feel relatively safe setting up another, another sword stance. Getting a little greedy, but hey. You know, I can. I'm now going to go for bullet punching. Oh, that did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage, but it was because it was a critical hit. And I'm just going to die to uh, Iron Barb's Rocky Helmet. I would have probably died to another two Thunderbolts, but so, you know. Whatever. Scizor's not needed anymore. I can now take this opportunity and get a free switch and do my Shadow Thor and my, my nicknamed Shiny Drapion because, you know, shiny, it's just mean. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go for that Choice Banded Earthquake, and that did pretty okay damage, I'm guessing. But, you know, I'm still a little disappointed it didn't knock it out. But anyways, I'm able to then go for another Earthquake is to just knock out the uh, the Ferrothorn, and that's pretty cool. So that's another huge threat out of the way, and now he's going to take the opportunity to go into his Scizor, and I'm like, now what can Scizor do to me? I decide relatively nothing. And then he goes for that Mega Evolution, and I'm like, Mega Scizor, oh, okay, this Mega Scizor might be able to do something to me. But anyways, he's going to go for that Bullet Punch, and I actually take that relatively well, considering I have, like, no defense EV investment. I'm all HP and attack, but still, that Earthquake did a lot of damage, so I know he's going to go for another Bullet Punch, so, you know, go out into my Ferrothorn to take that hit, and, like, take it like it's nothing and this is especially defensive ferrothorn coming from a mega scissor that did nothing oh that did nothing I, I i i can't believe how little that did but he's gonna take a lot of recoil now he's gonna make the smarter play switch out of there and go into his evil claw which which is his lucario yeah his lucario so i'm gonna set up some spikes because like yeah entry hazards fun but i know i can take one one hit because like I'm pretty bulky and I am I'm able to take that close combat not very well but still kind of take it I, I I wasn't sure if it was like especially defensive or physically offensive uh, Lucario so I just wanted to test the waters so I'm gonna get off the of leech seed and that's cool leech seeds are fun and now right here he makes a really weird play he should have gone straight for the close combat knocked me out but instead he goes for the me first, which is going to be really funny because I, I go for the explosion. So he basically kills himself and not, and he take, like, I would have died anyways from explosion. So I thought that was kind of funny that, you know, I just went for it because, you know, I figured he's out speed me anyway. So, you know, might as well, but he actually goes for me first and explodes. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah, I lose my Ferrothorn, but he loses his Lucario, so I figure that's a pretty even trade-off. He's now going to go back into his Mega Scizor, as I actually double back into my Shadowthorn, my Shiny Drapion, because I figured it's, like, the only thing I have left that, like, it's fodderable. Unfortunately, because, like, yeah, I have uh, my Fur Front, my Mr. Max, and then I have, uh... I think I still have my Delph, my Firefox left still, too, so, you know, I'm just going to let, uh... 
I'm gonna unfortunately have to fodder off my shiny Drapion and my Shadow Thorn, but in comes Mr. Max, and Mr. Max is like, come at me, bro, I got Sucker Punch, might, and that's gonna easily be able to knock out that Scizor, which is pretty awesome, and now he doesn't have his Mega to deal with, and now he's gonna go on to his Demon, his BB Demon, his Garchomp, and fortunately Garchomp can't Mega Evolve, so I'm feeling, alright, you can just tank hits for days because you have Fur Coat, might. So I'm going to go for a headbutt that did pretty good damage, and he's going to go for a crunch, and that crunch did a little bit of damage, but not too much. Then I'm going to go for another headbutt, and looking at that range, I can easily 3 at KO him, I'm thinking. But he goes for that Dragon Claw, and that Dragon Claw, ladies and gentlemen, did nothing. Oh, that did so little damage. But anyway, I do get the flinch right here, which does save me and allows me to kill off the, uh, the Garchomp, but I'm really thinking in the long run that, crit didn't, uh, that flinch didn't really matter. Because, you know... I'm just gonna like let this uh, this fur front die because he's down to his last Pokemon, which is his uh, his bussy, his uh, his uh, what's that thing called? Blastoise. Yeah, Blastoise. But he goes for Power Up Punch, which is like what? Doesn't matter. I still got a lot of damage off with that Wild Charge, so I'm pretty happy. So sorry, unfortunately, Mr. Max goes down, but now I get to go into my Greninja, my my Blue Kermit. If I ever find this guy who traded me that. Um, the Greninja, and if I could get him to nickname it Blue Kermit, that'd be like the best thing ever, but unfortunately, I have no idea where I got it from, I think I got it off of like some dude from Showdown, he's like, yeah, I'm giving you, I'm giving away Protein Frokies, I'm like, huh, sure, crit didn't matter there at all, because I still have like, three other Pokemon that I could easily take to beat him, so yeah, that was the battle, so, uh, thanks for watching, and see y'all next time.